most up-to-date pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. If you're looking for a great studio monitor that's suitable for smaller rooms, the KRK Rocket 7 G4 might be the best option for you. The KRK Rocket 7 G4 is a versatile studio monitor that delivers an enhanced low-end response and some useful features at about $480 a pair. It gives you powerful and impressive audio output, an integrated mounting pad for better sound isolation, and a graphic EQ with solid customization capabilities. The G4 comes with matching 7-inch Kevlar drivers and 1-inch tweeters that can reproduce sub-bass frequencies, so they're ideal for bass-heavy content. They also provide solid transparency and limit ear fatigue over long sessions. It utilizes a 145-watt Class D amplifier that offers efficient sound distribution, low heat retention, and high-fidelity audio output that can fill smaller spaces without overpowering other frequencies. You also get a low-resonance design that can fit within a desktop or mixer-based setup, and the underside has an integrated high-density isofoam pad that provides more grip and helps with isolation. I think the built-in DSP-driven room tuning is an excellent feature for the price, which optimizes speaker output depending on your acoustic environment. The LCD display and data encoder allow for intuitive room correction and level monitoring, although their placement on the back panel is somewhat impractical. It uses a two-band graphic equalizer that offers solid versatility for experienced mixers with peak options at 200Hz and 2.5kHz, and it comes with 25 presets for easy adjustments. I like that you get a useful companion app that helps with orientation to make setup easier, and it can analyze noise to make your EQ adjustments more impactful. It also has TRS and XLR combo jacks, along with a volume rocker on the back. The KRK Rocket 7 G4 delivers a powerful and high-quality low-end response. You get a useful graphic equalizer to help you dial in your preferred sound, a strong amplifier to fill the room, and a low-resonance compact design. I would recommend this for smaller studios and those working in bass-heavy genres. For anyone looking for a studio monitor that performs well in larger rooms, the Yamaha HS8 is an outstanding option that would suit your needs. The $720 per pair Yamaha HS8 is a high-end studio monitor that comes with a large speaker to fill bigger studios with sound. It delivers impressive frequency balance for accurate mixing and mastering, a respectable range of built-in tuning options, and some comparable features of more expensive models. It comes with a 75-watt 8-inch cone woofer and a 1-inch dome tweeter designed to produce a stronger bass response than smaller speakers without being boomy or distorted, which is perfect for bass-heavy genres. The balance across frequencies is also solid with crisp definition in the highs and mids. You get a frequency response range of 38Hz to 30kHz that delivers a smooth response with excellent accuracy so you'll hear where your mix needs improvement. It utilizes a 45-watt bi-amp design that separately powers the woofer and tweeter for increased audio output and better sound resolution in larger spaces, although it might be overpowering in smaller rooms. While the overall price is high, you get top-notch audio performance with low ear fatigue that's suitable for long mixing days. I like that you get tone control options to tune the audio to your space, and the room control and high trim settings allow you to adjust the high and low frequencies for balanced sound. The enclosure is made from a durable MDF board and a three-way mitered joint that improves the sound by reducing resonance. Unfortunately, it's relatively large and weighs 22 pounds, so it might be too heavy for some shelves, but you can get a mountable version for a bit more to free up valuable desk real estate. It connects through TRS and XLR ports, which allows for balanced and unbalanced signals. The Yamaha HS8 offers top-notch performance, and the large driver can fill bigger studios with sound. It comes with a bi-amp design, which is a rarity at this price, along with useful room tuning options. I would recommend this for producers looking for a powerful monitor. For those looking for an affordable studio monitor with solid performance, the Mackie CRX series is our pick as the best budget option. Starting at only $90 a pair, the Mackie CRX series is a budget-friendly studio monitor that delivers impressive audio performance and several clever features considering its low price point. You get an accuracy-oriented sound signature to improve your mixing, front panel controls for easy accessibility for adjustments, and versatile connectivity options. It comes with 0.75-inch silk dome tweeters and 3-inch polypropylene woofers with 50 watts of stereo output power and a respectable frequency response range of 70 Hz to 20 kHz. The sound profile has an emphasis on clarity and balance with a flat response for better accuracy, and the slight higher frequency emphasis provides detail that's perfect for mixing without sounding brittle or adding harshness to sibilance. While the low-end response lacks full-bodied sub-bass reproduction and is prone to distortion at higher volumes, it delivers solid accuracy for most other bass frequencies, and higher-end configurations offer larger drivers with improved low-end presence. I also like that it comes with isolation pads to further improve clarity by reducing irritating vibrations while the amplifier provides solid headroom. You get a rugged all-wood enclosure with a matte vinyl coating, a brushed metal front panel, and waveguides designed for consistent sound reproduction. 
Unfortunately, it lacks tuning options and all adjustments must be made from your audio interface or software, but you get a conveniently placed power switch and volume knob on the front panel. I think the front-facing headphone jack is a solid addition and it allows you to quickly plug in to start tracking or to examine your mix. You get several input options at the rear, including quarter inch, RCA, and 1 8 inch aux in to easily connect to your other studio gear. The Mackie CRX series is an affordable option with impressive audio delivery that outperforms its price tag. You get a balanced and warm sound profile with solid detail, isolation pads to improve sound quality, and a durable build. If you want the studio monitor that gives you the best bang for your buck, the JBL Professional 305P Mark II is a great option. The $240 prepared JBL Professional 305P Mark II Studio Monitor gives you one of the best price-to-performance ratios along with some useful features at a very reasonable price. You get an innovative design with an impressive stereo image, convenient tuning options to control the frequency cutoff points, and a strong low-end response. It comes with a 5-inch driver and a 1-inch tweeter, as well as dual integrated Class D amplifiers with an output of 82 watts, which is rare at this price. While the 49Hz to 20kHz response range isn't as broad as some competitors, it provides plenty of detail in your music, and the 108 dB maximum volume is adequate for medium-sized rooms. It delivers impressive quality with a bright, high-frequency response and a powerful bass-oriented sound profile, which is great for DJs. Unfortunately, it can audibly hiss at lower volumes, and the non-flat response isn't ideal for analytical listening, but it sounds good at medium to higher volumes and reproduces sounds with solid depth. I also like how it utilizes magnetically shielded transducers that limit distortion to reduce ear fatigue. I think JBL's patented image control waveguide is a key feature, and it allows the speaker to deliver a solid stereo image from various angles with a wider soundstage than most monitors. It also has useful tuning options to find the ideal configuration for your environment despite their placement, and you can adjust the high or low frequencies for accurate control. You get a well-built 10-pound cabinet with a double-flared port to enhance the output and a shiny gloss coating, although it's prone to scratches and smudges. It connects through the TRS and XLR inputs in the rear. The JBL Professional 305P Mark II delivers impressive audio performance and some solid features typically found on high-end models. You get innovative technology for better imaging, a powerful bi-amp design, and a solid maximum volume. I would recommend this for beginners looking for a durable option to master the basics. Now, if you're looking for a studio monitor that delivers the best overall performance, the Atom Audio A7X is a top choice. The $1,500 Prepare Atom Audio A7X Studio Monitor is a revamped version of their respected A7 model, and it comes with improved sound quality and some new features. You get an innovative new tweeter for an extended frequency response, a clean and versatile soundscape, and several easily accessible controls. The A7X comes with redesigned drivers, and its folded ribbon tweeter design delivers up to 2.5 times the volume of standard drivers and more consistent impedance. It has a 7-inch bass and midwoofer, along with a new 2-inch XART tweeter that reduces distortion and extends the response range from 42 Hz to 50 kHz, so you get an even flatter phase response. The tweeter is powered by a 50-watt AB amplifier, and the woofer uses a 100-watt PWM amp, which maintains phase linearity and provides more powerful audio output. Overall, the sound quality is excellent, with a natural and more extended low-end, warm mid-range, and clear highs to suit audio engineers and producers. The balanced soundscape also provides an impressive three-dimensionality and a better sense of separation between frequencies for more accurate mixing. Unfortunately, it lacks magnetic shielding, so using it near older monitors is inadvisable. It comes in a rugged 20.3-pound enclosure with a satin black finish and two front-firing baseboards, but it's compact and can fit either at home or in studio. The power switch and volume rocker can be found on the front panel, so they're easily accessible for convenient adjustments. You get a rear control panel to optimize speaker output for your acoustic environment, and you can adjust the high and low frequencies. It also has XLR and RCA ports for balanced and unbalanced connections. The Atom Audio A7X produces high-end performance across the tonal spectrum, and despite its higher price tag, it has a solid price-to-performance ratio for its class. You get a redesigned tweeter for increased output and an exceptionally wide frequency range. I think this is perfect for serious engineers or producers who need an accurate and high-quality speaker. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.